other questions? Who has one? Nate has one here. Uh, Nate Ryan, USA Day. If you'll permit an IndyCar question, Danica, there was some news with your team this past week or two with, with Tony Kanaan leaving. It appears you guys are going to be three cars next year. Just your, your reaction to that. I know yeah. TK was a big part of, of helping getting the car set up and, yeah. and being a mentor to you. Yeah. Um, I, uh, you know, it looks like it's, looks like it's Ryan and Marco and I, um, I don't know what Tony's going to do. I, 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 uh, I was a little shocked that what happened and that 7-Eleven wasn't coming back. So I'm not sure what happened there. I feel bad for him because it's pretty sudden. And, um, you know, I, I, he had a sort of a long-term contract with the team that I think he envisioned was going to finish his career. And, you know, so I, I'm sure it was a surprise to him. Um, and uh, I w I'm sure he'll figure something out. Um, you know, we weren't on the best of terms all year with what happened at uh, Texas, <laughs> here at Texas this year. <laughs> um, we didn't really speak a lot after that. Um, but but uh, I'm, I'm sure he'll figure something out. He's a good driver, and um, he's got a lot of good racing left in him, I'm sure. Moving forward for you, is it an opportunity in the sense that he's always used Yeah. Now, you know, I, I really found that, uh, is it an opportunity for me, he asked, just with Tony, Tony leaving. And, you know, what I found this year is just that uh, I got along with Marco really well. I really did. And I, I, he was somebody I didn't really always get along with, and I felt like there was a bit of a respect issue going on that just wasn't there. But... Um, and uh, oddly enough, here at Texas was probably where it really started rolling well. And and um, I don't know, it was, when I, it was when Tony and I had that thing too. So I don't know, I think we just kind of went off on our own and Marco and I got along from there on. And um, um, I really like him. I think he's growing as a person. And I think that, um, I don't know, I, I guess my gut says that there'll be a lot of really mutual um, cheerleading and respect with each other it you know um i think it's going to be a good thing i'm really i'm really not concerned and i think that we'll all feel like leaders in the team i, I think i i really think that you know tony has so much experience and he's been around for so long it was hard to hard to hard for everyone to feel like leaders when you, when tony's there so I, I think that we'll all feel like that a little bit question over here rick get to him the mic please yes uh, can you I'm explain? <laughs> what? Can you explain the difference in speed going 220 miles an hour in an Indy car around this racetrack and going wide open and maybe at 180 miles an hour in a nationwide car? Oh, I will. I hope I can go wide open at some point. I was saying this morning it'd be it'd be so fun to just go flat out all the way around in in a, in a stock car at some somewhere other than um, Daytona for me. So um, it's pretty close. I mean, it's pretty good here. Um, I mean, there's uh, especially this morning with how cold it was. Um, uh, what were you asking again? The difference in speed. Difference in speed. Um, well, the thing is, is that. I, I mean, you know, these cars are so big and high up in the air and move around a lot that even though you're going slower, a lot of times it feels like you're going faster just because it's moving and there's some more going on. Um, the lifting changes the, the attitude of the car more where when you're in, a, in an Indy car, I mean, the faster you go, the more downforce you have. So uh, I, I, I really feel, I don't feel like, I mean, the only the times that I felt like the car is slow, the stock, a stock car is slow, is that like Daytona? I mean, it just takes a long time to get around, you know. And it's, uh, you know, so going down the straightaways there does feel a little slow. But I would have to say that that due to its its um, you know its size and mass and movement, it still feels fast because it's there's a lot going on. Another question here, Mike. Go ahead. I'm Mike Muller, Mike Muller .net. This is sort of an off-the-wall question, but then I usually ask those sorts of types of questions. Tony Stewart did the double one time, uh, Indy and, and the 600. Uh, have you thought about that? I mean, would that, is that something that you might be interested in, in trying? I mean, obviously they're thinking about moving the time back to get more ratings for the Indy, for the, for the 500. Was that yeah. something you could do? Um, I think it's possible for sure to do both um, if uh, if that's the direction I end up going someday. Uh, um, I don't know. I'm definitely open to that. I wouldn't want to cheat the Indy 500 in any way and not be prepared enough um, to have a chance to win because that would be the only reason to do it. Um, so it would have to be the real, definitely the right situation. Um, 
because I just I just have a lot of respect for that race and and um, you know coming close to winning it a few times I just that's the only way to go so um, yeah I'm open to that. Question Somebody right. has a jet for me. <laughs> go ahead. I had another question. You uh, you really dialed in your Indy car coming in second here. Um, how different is it for you in the mornings on a cold practice tryout? Now it'll probably be different conditions to tune the car for the uh, qualifying. Well, the car definitely changed a lot from the first to second practice session, um, and so we chased that and um, caught up with it on the last run, I think, well, and, and uh, maybe a little, even a little too much, which is a good thing. just gives you a place to go. Um, so we'll probably go in between, um, as I said earlier. And, I mean, I was asking Tony Jr. that, too, is even, even if we do a qualifying run at 11 or 12 o'clock in the morning, is it going to really represent 5.30 at night? And, unfortunately, it's going to be about 5.37 for me since I'm the second car out. Um, so Tony Jr. also elected me to be the new drawer because um, we need a change in pace here since I've gone out in the first 10 cars almost every weekend, um, which sometimes help you, helps you, but I don't think it's going to help at 5.30 when the last car is going to head out at, you know, 7 or so. So um, uh, I, it's going to be, I don't know. I mean, I didn't do a qualifying run this morning, but I, as I said to Tony, I think that, you know, with how cold it was in the morning and how much more throttle I was able to use and how much faster I was able to go, um, I feel like there's going to be a decent reference for more of what qualifying is going to bring because there's definitely more lifting and more movement and sliding out of the car in the second practice. So um, that was kind of why I decided not to do a qualifying run when everybody was kind of turning around on pit lane if they wanted to run one. Got time for one more. Any more anybody have one final question? Bob has one right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Bob Pock, Christine Daly, do you feel any sort of rejuvenated or anything since you had, I assume you had a weekend off last week? I did, actually. Um, I worked on Friday and Monday, um, but, uh, but I did have the, the weekend off, and um, it, was, uh, it was nice. I, um, I, uh, took my, I took my best friend to dinner, and, um, and my husband went to a, a basketball game with uh, her husband, so <laughs> it was a nice weekend. Um, yeah, it was. A, it's uh, you know we've been going pretty hard for a while, so it was nice to have a weekend off and um, feel ready and ready for these last three. And um, it's definitely felt like a longer year for me. Um, all the things that happen so long after the season for me normally. Um, for to go to those things like to have Halloween and to have the have to go to the SEMA show this week and and things like that I mean those are all the events that happen just you know way after the season so it's kind of a reminder as to just how long where uh, you know the the year is um, but um, but um, you know that's just that's just the new schedule I'm just getting used to it and uh, yeah had a nice weekend off Danica, thank you so much. Good luck this weekend. I hope we well, you know you guys didn't have a weekend off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that to be like a smart ass. Yeah, I didn't mean to be smart assy right there. I, I was just like going to revert back and say I hope you guys had a good weekend off, but you didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs>